Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video, we will learn about health check design pattern for microservices. Yes, friend, I'll explain what is health check design pattern, where to use it, what are the advantages of using this design pattern. I'll also give you a real world example of health check design pattern. So stay tuned and do watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very, very informative for you. People, those who want to learn the microservice architecture, microservice framework, for them, it's very important to learn all these design patterns. So friends, watch this design pattern till end. It is very, very informative tutorial for you. Friends, in the previous video, I have discussed about distributed tracing design pattern for microservices. Can you explain what is distributed tracing design pattern? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. And if you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel on distributed tracing design pattern for microservices. What you need to understand, Susan, is that everyone has an agenda, okay? Okay, friends. So here is the agenda of this tutorial today. I will give you a brief introduction of health check design pattern for microservices. Then I'll show you the real world example of health check design pattern. Then I'll explain you the usage and use cases of health check design pattern. Then I'll explain the benefits and advantages of health check design pattern. At the end, I'll summarize what we learn in this tutorial for health check design pattern for microservices. And I'll also brief about external configuration design pattern. So stay tuned and do watch this video till end. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow a Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay friends, so now let's start with the health check design pattern for microservices. This is the fourth and last design pattern in observability design pattern category. The health check is a special REST API implementation that you can use to validate the status of microservice and its dependencies. With micro profile health, microservice can self check their health and publish their overall status to defined endpoint. The health check can access anything what is microservices needs, including the dependencies, system properties, database connections, endpoint connections, and resource availability. The overall status of microservice health depends on the configured health check pass. A microservice is considered available and report up status if all the configured health checks are successful. If one or more health check fails, the microservices is considered unavailable and report as down status. A service orchestrator can use this status reports to decide how to manage and scale the microservices as an application. Sometimes a service instance can be incapable of handling requests yet still be running. For example, it might have run out of database connections. When this occurs, the monitoring system should generate an alert. Also, the load balancer or service registry should not route the request to the failed service instance. So, how to detect that a running service instance is unable to handle a request? A service has an health check API endpoint that returns the health of the service. The API endpoint handler performs various checks such as the status of connection to infrastructure services used by service instance, a health check client, a monitoring service, service registry or load balancer periodically invokes the endpoint to check the health of the service instance. To verify that application and services are performing correctly, you can use the health endpoint monitoring pattern. This pattern specifies the use of functional checks in an application. External tool can access these checks at regular interval through exposed endpoints. 
It's a good practice to monitor web applications and backend services. Monitoring helps ensure that application and services are available and performing correctly. We can use the health check endpoints created with our services so that it can provide the health of the service, including all resources and dependencies, so that we know the services are up and running and performing the job. Right, friends? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right. <laughs> Okay, friends, so now let's understand the health check design pattern within a real world example. It's a good practice to monitor web application and backend services. Monitoring help ensure that application and services are available and performing correctly. Business requirement often includes monitoring. It's sometimes more difficult to monitor cloud services than an on premise services. One reason is that you don't have full control of the hosting environment. Another is that service typically depends on other service that platform vendor and other provides. Manufacturer affects the cloud hosted application. Example, network latency, performance and availability of underlying compute and storage system and the network bandwidth between them. A service can fail entirely or partially due to any of these factors. To ensure a required level of availability, you must verify at regular interval that your service performs correctly your service level agreement might specify the level that you need to meet so the solution to all these requirements is implementing the health monitoring by sending request to an endpoint on your application the application should perform the necessary check and then return an indication of its status a health monitoring check typically combines two factors the check that application or service performs in the response to the request to the health verification endpoint. Second, the analysis of result by a tool or a framework that performs the health verification check. The response code indicates the status of application. Optionally, the response code also provides the status of components and services that the app uses. The monitoring tool or framework performs the latency or response time check. The health monitoring code in the application might also run other checks to determine that is the availability and the response time of cloud storage or a database, the status of other resources or services that application uses. The resources and service might be in an application or outside it. So if you see in this diagram, we have application and we have an agent. Agent is like monitoring tool which is calling the application health check endpoints to check the status of storage, database, and all the infrastructure and resources. If it receives a 200 response, then everything is fine. Otherwise, it creates an alert and notification for the support team that your services are down. Oh, wow, that is really, that's amazing. Let's understand the health check design pattern with another example. Health check can also interact with Kubernetes liveliness and readiness probes and in microprofile health 3.1 and later for example in microservice based a banking application you might impl implement health check on the login microservice the balance transfer microservice and a bill pay microservice if a health check on the balance transfer microservice detect a bug or a deadlock it returns a down status in this case if the health check endpoint is configured in the kubernetes liveness probe the probe restarts the microservice automatically. The restarting the microservice saves the user from encountering downtime or an error and preserves the function of the other microservice in the application. In microprofile health 3.1 and later, the startup check ensures that all the configured microservices have sufficient time to initialize before the liveliness and readiness checks begin again. This check is useful for application that requires extra startup time or their first initialization it prevents the liveliness and readiness check from starting prematurely and potentially failing just because an application is not fully initialized the kubelet process on each worker node runs the health checks and probe in kubernetes readiness probe results control routing by the services what i can i i do i do not understand Okay friends, so now let's see some of the use cases or usage of the health check design pattern. 
Use this pattern to monitoring the website and web application to verify availability. Use this pattern to monitoring website and web application to check for the correct operation. Use this pattern when monitoring the middle tier or shared services to detect and isolate the failure that can disrupt the other applications. You can use health check design pattern to complementing the existing instrumentation in the application such as performance counters and error handlers. Instrumentation can provide valuable information for an existing framework that monitors the counters and error logs to detect failures. But instrumentation can't provide the information if an application is unavailable. What the hell are you talking about? Okay friends, so now let's understand the advantages of the design pattern. These patterns provide you internal monitoring of websites and web application to verify the availability of application. This design pattern monitors the website and application to check for the correct operation. This pattern also monitors the health of middle tier and shared services to detect and isolate the failure that can disrupt the other application. Using this design pattern, you can get the health status of your services and act proactively if, if there is any issue reported. Really? Okay friends, so let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today. I gave you introduction of health check design pattern. Then I explained you and shown you the real world examples of health check design pattern. Then I shown you the use cases of health check design pattern. And I also explained you the advantages of health check design pattern. So friends, if you have already used this design pattern in any of your project or seen a scenario where this design pattern is useful, so please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Wow, that's amazing. Friends, in the next video, I'm going to discuss about external configuration design pattern. Friends, this is the first design pattern in cross-cutting concern design pattern category. And I'll explain you what is external configuration design pattern. I'll show you the real world example of external configuration design pattern. Then we'll understand the use cases of external configuration design pattern. I'll also explain you the benefits of external configuration design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. And if you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow Code One Digest family. Wow. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.